Good evening, WWE Universe, and welcome back to another edition of WWE Slam. As always, I'm your host, The Revolution, joined as ever by Michael Cole, Byron Saxon, and the controversial Corey Graves. During last week's edition of WWE Slam, it was revealed by Slam Interim General Manager Vicky Guerrero that the women of WWE Slam will be competing in a series of matches to earn their spot in this year's Women's Money in the Bank ladder match. In the first of our qualifying matches, Brie Bella earned her spot after defeating Liv Morgan of the Blonde Bombshells. Later tonight, Peyton Royce and Sonya Deville get their opportunity to participate in this year's match as they take on two mystery opponents. Also, after Liv Morgan attempted to blindside Brie Bella, it was revealed that Brie will get her chance to fend off the blonde bombshell once again as she takes on the ravishing Russian Lana and Liv Morgan in tag team action alongside good friend Alicia Fox. All that and so much more to come here tonight in tonight's edition of WWE Slam. This is a big time opportunity, Byron, as the title will be on the line here. You're right, Michael. And judging from the response on social media heading into this match, we're likely to see a new champ crowned here tonight. A big opportunity for her here, Corey, as the gold could be going home with her tonight. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that tonight is the night we crown a new champion. That's how impressed I've been by her of late. Introducing the challenger from New Zealand, Donna Kay. Introducing the champion from El Paso, Texas. She is the WWE Women's Champion, Rachel Diaz. Don't even think about going anywhere. It looks like we're ready to do battle here, guys. Hey, when this match is said and done, we might very well be talking about its match of the year candidacy. Look at her. She's got nerves of steel. Despite the title being on the line, she looks as poised as ever. Yeah. 
Her athleticism and leaping ability are off the charts. Guys, I want to discuss Kay for a moment. As the challenger, what does she need to do to win this thing? This is when all those hours in the gym finally pay off. A chance to become champion. A chance to forever have your name in the record books. And the way I see it, we could definitely have a new woman's champion when it's all said and done. And there's a chop. She just slapped the taste out of her mouth. We got a rope break. Doing damage with the knee now. She hits her with the boot. Looking for the quick pin. And the champ kicks out. Yeah, this is way too early to be going for the win. Pays for that one. Executed perfectly. A concerned look on the face of the champ, but she has the fight of a champion in her, which will certainly help her down the stretch. Will be ended early, and the champ kicks out. Hey, I guess you never know. She's in full control now. Taken out with a Russian leg sweep. Look at her go. She's able to get out of the way there. But she, this should do it right there. This is going to be big, one way or another. Look at this. And she's still not moving. I don't think she can recover from this goal. And now one more time. A mammoth slam right there, guys. I bet you feel foolish riding her off now. She wants it one more time. Incredible impact on that move. This one's over, guys. Soft shoulders down. Championship on the line. Two, three. The champ retains. Here is your winner, and still the WWE Women's Champion, Rachel Diaz. Another win on the resume.
It seems as though nothing can stop Raquel Diaz in yet another victory during the Raquel Diaz Open Invitational. One could argue that Dakota wasn't up to full strength after a vicious beatdown from Calm last week. Like Dakota, Naomi looks to bounce back after BAD's recent bad luck after Sasha Banks was defeated last week by Charlotte as she takes on Becky Lynch. Will Naomi have as much luck as Sasha or will Becky be the one to fall victim to bad luck? That match, people, is up next. looking super focused here tonight. She's going to need to be Cole. It's not like she's going to be in there with some slouch. And I'd say these women definitely look ready to get this one started. So am I, Michael. I don't think I've ever seen these women give a poor performance. And I'm willing to bet tonight will be no different. Okay, guys, we're ready to get this one. The bell rings, and by the look on her face, I'd say Naomi is ready to roll. Settle in, guys. This is going to be a blast to watch. Judging from this crowd response, guys, there's no more magical place to be in Orlando right now than right here for this match. Goes behind. Controlling the head. And here's the lockup. Look at these two jockeying for position. Let's briefly talk about Naomi. What can our newer viewers expect from this woman? Sometimes I think Naomi is too preoccupied with her dancing, but hey, she's looking to impress me. Here's a great opportunity for her. Yeah, all I know is she can definitely make a name for herself tonight if she performs well. And a wicked elbow shot right there. Wisely bringing the action back into the ring. Now we have Naomi on the attack. Here we go, back inside the ring. Naomi has one of the most thrilling, dare I say, illuminating. A quick finish, can she do it? Becky Lynch may be in trouble here. She's in there with some stiff competition tonight. 
If you're worried about her now, you haven't seen many of her matches. She can withstand so much more punishment than this. She's definitely slowing down here a bit, but that doesn't mean it's the end of the road for her. Not by a long shot. Now we have Naomi on the attack. Naomi's athleticism brings the WWE Universe shooting to their feet in excitement as this superstar turns the ring into her own dance party, though Naomi's opponent is not happy that they were invited. Bright lights, high energy, and amazing moves sum up Naomi before she enters the ring. And when the matchup begins, no matter who the competition is, Naomi's going to shine. She's a lady that can turn it on quickly, no doubt about it. Back in from the apron. This is another example of the carnage this beauty can create. What an unbelievable slam. Naomi looking a little shaken. She's going to need to find a way to mount an offense here. Pump the brakes a bit, Cole. I know exactly what you're thinking, and I can tell you with all certainty, she still has plenty of gas left in the tank. She looked great coming out of the gates. Got moving in and early. And Naomi forces her way out. Yeah, seemed to be just testing the waters a bit there. She's got her where she wants her. She's not too anxious to get up. A few inches off there. Inches? She missed by at least a foot, Cole. Here she comes on the counter. We'll see if she can turn things around. I think she's trying to prove a point here. And there's the kick out. She's a warrior, guys. Okay, now she's just showing off. What have we got here? We have Naomi on the attack. And she goes for the arm drag. After the last time out, I think people are starting to expect amazing matches out of this superstar each and every night. Naomi going to work now. A kick out. This one's not over yet. Going to take more than that to take down the Irish last kicker, folks. What's the next move for Naomi to turn things around quickly to remain in this thing? Her hopes of winning this match may very well be in jeopardy. I really expected much more from her here tonight. I'm pretty shocked to see her absorb so much punishment. Like Michigan during our last presidential election, this match is too close to call at this point. see it this might be a good time for the finisher this could do it a kick out and you can see the frustration starting to build can you believe this we're looking at complete domination here Becky Lynch setting up for the nice exploder suplex. She's back in full control now. Uh, yeah, there's no way this match isn't over after that one. This guy has cinched in the disarmer. This match is slipping away from Naomi here. Tap, tap. 
this match is over. Here is your winner, Becky Lynch. And Becky Lynch walks away with the W. I can honestly say that a win is a little more satisfying when you make your opponent tap out. We've got an animated crowd here tonight as we usually do when we're in Orlando. It would seem as though Bad Luck has really worked his way into Team BAD's books with yet another loss for the once grand stable. Both Naomi and Sasha have failed to pick up a victory ever since losing the Tag Team Championship ladder match back at ECW One Night Stand. Will the duo break their Bad Luck curse next week? Tune in to find out. However, they are up next. However, up next, the Iconics promised a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to some of WWE's former stars as they put their money in the bank qualifying matches on the line. In the first of their healthy aged scheme, Peyton Royce goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with the superstar from the past in her chance for a spot at this year's Money in the Bank ladder match. Who will answer the call? That match starts now. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, accompanied by Billy Kay, representing the iconic duo from Sydney, Australia, Peyton Royce. As Peyton Royce makes her way to the ring, I should note that before heading to the WWE Performance Center, Peyton actually received training from Lance Storm. So we can blame Lance Storm. Is that what you're saying? Well, she definitely looks ready for this one, Corey. Would you agree? I'd agree with that, Cole. But that shouldn't really come as a surprise. She's always prepared. Simply put, she's a professional. And her opponent from Dallas, Texas. Jacqueline! Jacqueline's got her work cut out for her tonight. Cole, there is no quitting Jacqueline. You know that. They're struggling for control right now. And the tie-up, make no mistake about it. This is all about skill, determination, and power. And a savage clothesline. Two. 
Peyton Royce got her there. The arm drag being used to good effect here. One of the most effective drop kicks you'll ever see. Well, moves like that at this stage are not to win any match. It's, they're just used to send a message. Looking for the quick pin. And the shoulder's up in time. Just power out. And she gets driven to the mat. The splash leaves her immobilized. She counters with a move of her own. Oh, and she has an answer for that one. She slams her down with great force. was clearly part of her game plan heading in. And she comes up with a big counter. We're looking at complete domination here. Oh man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Jacqueline is in position. She's thinking about it. Two. Oh man, she's rolling now. One. Bringing it back into the ring. Two. Sending a statement with that elbow. Here she comes on the counter. We'll see if she can turn things around. No, reverses it. Look at this. She comes up big with a reversal. And Jacqueline plays mind games as good as any lady in the WWE. Caught up in the inside cradle. She's got the shoulders down. One, two, she is on fire. her down. Wow. Nice move right there. She clearly liked the result. Inside cradle. Shoulders are down. She's looking to get out of here with a win early. I knew she could do it. What does Jacqueline have to do to regain her composure? I'd say her fans have every reason to be concerned here. One of these women has to pull away here eventually. At this point, it looks like it might just be her opponent. She's going for the cover. Two, three. There's the pin. It's over. It's all over. Here is your winner, Peyton Boys. The shoulders are down for three, and this one's in the books. That's the kind of win that makes you feel good about yourself. Guys, it sounds like we can all agree that was an extremely impressive win.
As seen moments ago, Peyton Royce advances to this year's Money in the Bank ladder match after defeating Hall of Famer Jacqueline for her spot in this year's match. With the Iconics promising yet another opportunity in their Help the Aged scheme, who will answer Billy Kay's challenge in two weeks' time? Stay tuned to WWE Sam in the coming weeks to find out. Speaking of opportunities, Sonya Deville gets her chance at Money in the Bank in our main event of the evening as she takes on a local athlete for her spot in this year's ladder match. Will Sonya Deville dominate her way to the top? Stay tuned for our main event of the evening. However, up next, Team Bella take on the Blonde Bombshells after the Blonde Bombshells attempted to take out Brie Bella last week. Will Team Bella prevail after Brie defeated Liv Morgan last week? Or will the blonde bombshells blast their way to victory? That match is up next. Given the participants, this match might very well steal the show, guys. Yeah, and I think you could go so far as to say it has the makings of a match of the year candidate. And here's the lockup. Look at these two jockeying for position. In full control. Into the collar and elbow tie-up. Only one competitor comes out ahead here. How about we touch on Lanza a bit? In a tag team, everybody has a part to play. What does she need to do to contribute here? She's got her game face on, Cole, and if it's not just her, her partner does too. You really have to like their chances here tonight. Watch out. Wow, what a slam. Don't let the beauty fool you. She has power. Fox with the offense. Damage inflicted with a snap mare. Can't wake up from that one. She got her with the drop kick. Oh. 
Look, Alicia Fox is on the attack now. Whoa, look out. A few inches off there. Inches? She missed by at least a foot, Cole. Here's the Bulldog. Well, she wants this win bad. She cinches in the headlock. Ah, right, she gets out of it. She has renewed life now, Michael. Looking for the quick pin. With authority. That would have been a shocker. Not going to win many matches with that move. She's in a bad way here. Bottom line, she's got to get up. She can't win this match on her back. Wait a minute. No reverses it. I think she's trying to prove a point here. Oh, the reversal by Alicia Fox. Now there's the counter. Lonza gets tagged in. She's taking a while to get up here. I was just thinking the same thing, Michael. Look out! It's cinched in. It's cinched in. This isn't flashy, but we'll stop your opponent's momentum. She's having a hard time getting back to her feet, guys. Well, she's absorbed a lot of punishment so far tonight. There's the Hurricane Rana. In my opinion, Alicia Fox has got to get back into this. What are your thoughts? At this point, she really needs to think about making a tag to her partner. She's no pushover, though, guys. If she's going down, she's going to go down swinging. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. Some good technique right there. Oh, the reversal by Alicia Fox. Brie Bella makes the tag. That's a great example of teamwork right there. And what a reversal from Brie Bella. She comes up big with the reversal. Now Brie Bella's not looking good here. Her and her partner aren't going to let this derail them, though. With the tag is Morgan. Oh, man, she's rolling now. And a perfectly executed stretch. And she breaks free. I don't know how she did it, but that was impressive. Showing some quickness there. Oh, 
Oh, this is going to be painful. Half Crab is locked in deep. Looks like Brie Bella is running out of steam here. You can see her partner wants to get tagged in here. I don't know. No, she breaks it. Wow, she's quite the escape artist. There it is. She's made the tag. And her partner is on absolute fire right now. Oh, no. She's a live wire when she's plugged in. She shows signs of life. She's showing a lot more than that. That tag right there is everything that is awesome about tag team competition. Drama, excitement, athleticism. It just doesn't get any better than that. in some big trouble here. Her tag team partner has to be concerned at this point. Yeah, she's in a very bad spot here. I don't know how much more of this she can take. It could be over here. One, two, three. They did it! They won the match! Here are your winners, Brie Bella and Alicia Fox. Nice teamwork by these two here tonight. Look out, girls. These two women don't look like they plan on ever losing. You're going to be hard-pressed to find action like what we just saw anywhere else, but right here on Raw. Another victory for Brie Bella here in WWE Slam as she continues to impress fans with her return to in-ring action. It was revealed during our commercial break that next week Alicia Fox will get the opportunity to join Brie in this year's Money in the Bank ladder match as she takes on Lana in the qualifying match for their spot in this year's match. Will Alicia Fox be successful as Team Bella member Brie? However, up next we turn our focus to the main event of the evening as Sonya Deville gets her opportunity at the Money in the Bank ladder match as she takes on a local talent. Will Sonya prevail over this unsuspecting four? Our main event of the evening starts now. Making her way to the ring from Shimong, New Jersey, Sonia the Devil. Singles action on its way, and it sounds like this arena is more than ready to kick this one off. So is social media, Michael. The opening bell hasn't even rung, and yet both these superstars are already trending. And what about this crowd reaction, guys? Yeah, the WWE Universe is definitely ready to see these women square off, and I can't say that I blame them. Taipei, Taiwan, Tia Yamashita. 
The atmosphere inside this arena for this one is absolutely insane, guys. And if you think this is insane, just wait until this thing kicks into high gear. You ain't seen nothing yet. Corey, in terms of raw talent, where do you think these women rank as it relates to the other competitors in the division? Oh, they're right there at the top, Cole. Years from now, I think we're going to look back at these women and realize just how lucky we were to watch them compete. That's how talented they are. This is a one-on-one -on -one matchup, and I don't think I have to remind anyone what's on the line here. In full control. Chin lock. How's she gonna get it done here? The thing that's both exciting and a little scary is that in the WWE, every single match could be your last in the ring. These two know they have to cherish every single second in there. I do expect her to show her opponent and the rest of the WWE that she's going to be someone to reckon with for a long time to come. Showing an aggressive side here. That strike was strategically placed on her opponent. Hits her with a clothesline from seemingly out of nowhere. But you can bet she has plenty of fight in her. Hey, we all know how aggressive she can be inside that ring, and you never know what she might do to get back control of this match. Slam down with authority. Five. She just will Six. not let up. Seven. We may have a count out here, guys. It certainly looks that way, Michael. She's looking at it early. Look at that. She nailed her. Now that's how you land a well-placed strike on your opponent. She has some reason to be concerned here. Nothing she can't fire back from, though. Well, there's still plenty of match to go here, guys. Unless something crazy happens. The Romero special. When she gets in attack mode, look out. She's looking at it. Warm up the buses. This one's over. But is it enough to end it? She is on fire. And she comes up with a big counter. She looks for it once again. And Emma makes her pay for all that. Game. This should do it right there. And Emma picks up the win.
Thanks for tuning in to WWE Slam. As always, I've been your host of Revolution, and we hope you've enjoyed tonight's episode of WWE Slam. Be sure to leave a comment below, tweet us at Revolution, or head on over to www.therevolution.co.uk to keep up with all things WWE Slam. Tune in next week to see what's in store for the Women of Slam, because you never know who might turn up. Until next time...